at first i will give you one message to you regarding the syllabus for pt2 already i uploaded it on the e portal hope you have seen already that is chapter 6 physical and chemical change physical and chemical change will be included in the next exam from chemistry science okay already told the about the syllabus note it down completed yes this chapter will be in no no chapter so uh, soil will be on the next exam and also one is that one offline video was there regarding the exercise of the previous chapter that is wastewater story how many of you have seen it it is already uploaded on the last sunday how many of you have seen it regarding the exercise of wastewater those who have not seen it yet check it at the youtube it is already uploaded that is exercise of wastewater now today we will start from the uh, as on the last class i told you on the next class we will start the new chapter that is soil so everyone will open page number 96 page number 96 chapter 9 page number 96 soil okay i will later check the link okay i will later check if it is found then i will post on the chat box but it is after the class obviously okay but today as we will start the new chapter soils everyone follow the page number 96 okay so let's start so first first of all we have one preliminary knowledge regarding the soil as we already have studied on the lower classes what is soil it is the uppermost surface of the earth crust and what does it contains it's having different kinds of plants the grasses big big trees and different microorganisms that is the microbes the bacteria and also the earthworm different kinds of worm these are here and also at the same time there are different minerals are also there so these are the components of soil so if you have to define what is soil then what you will write it is the uppermost surface of the earth crust where uh, the maximum plants are grown out or it's having the uh, the color that is of brownish in color or red brownish in color these are the characteristics of soil so if you have to define soil soil is the uppermost 
uppermost layer of earth crust having different minerals microbes comma okay full stop it helps to grow plants and trees it is the uppermost layer of earth crust having different minerals microbes it helps to grow plants it is blackish brown in color okay so this is the characteristics of soil clear so this is the definition the it is the uppermost layer of earth crust having different minerals microbes which helps to grow plants and trees and having blackish brown or blackish brown in color okay next soil is one of the most important natural resource now what is natural resource can you name some natural resource can you name some natural resource which is free to use and we will get from the environment what is this give some example of this fuel yes fuel that means the fossil fuels isn't it the petrol diesel petroleum the coal these are the example and also at the same time the uh, the air water these are all natural resource okay now it supports the growth of plants by holding roots firmly and supply water and nutrients it is the home for many organisms soil is essential for agriculture agriculture provide food clothing and shelter for all soil is thus an inseparable part of our life the earth the earthy fragrance of soil after the first rain is always refreshing okay so there having the uses of soil so if we point it out then what is the help we got from the soil or what is the functions of our soil functions of soil number 1 first one supplies nutrient to plants plants and trees number 2 it is the home for uh, the microbes the fungi etc and also different uh, ant etc so helps to grow different microbes bacteria etc helps to grow different microbes bacteria etc helps to grow different crops helps to grow different crops works as a layer works as a layer for water filtration
in natural filtration system in natural filtration system okay so supplies nutrients to plants and trees supplies nutrients to plants and trees helps to grow different microbes bacteria etc helps to grow different microbes bacteria etc helps to grow different crops number 4 works as a layer for water filtration in natural filtration system works as a layer of water filter or filtration in natural filtration system okay next is that completed this completed ayantik soikot nandini pratyay saniya sakshi shashank next is that come to section 9.1 soil teeming with life section 9.1 soil teeming with life so in this section we have to know about the components what soil consists of or what it comprises okay so one day during the rainy season poheli and bojo observe an earthworm coming out of the soil poheli wondered whether there were other organisms also in the soil let us find out okay so for this they have there is an activity collect some soil sample and observe them carefully you can use a hand lens examine each sample carefully and fill in table 9.1 discuss your observation with your friends are the soil sample collected by your friends similar to the ones collected by you bojo and paheli have used soil in many ways they enjoy playing with it it is a great fun indeed make a list of use of soil now Uh, in that section we have to know about the components of soil so the components is first of all it's having some air water air water minerals okay microbes the microbes that artwar moles rodents plant root air water minerals microbes artwar moles rodin plant roots these are the components of soil okay next come to table 9.1 serial number soil source plants animals any other observation so garden soil it basically having grass some roots of the plants animals found here 
sometimes it is earthworm can be found and okay any other observation any other observation in that section any uh, different substances out of these uh, is found there that is the which is called as not appropriate with this respect okay so we will see this so first we will make the chart one is soil source next one is plants then it is animal number 4 is any other observation so first is that garden soil the plants is the grass roots animals earthworm earthworm anything you can find here termites any other observation none number 2 that is uh the soil from the road side soil from road side what it may contain it's having some grasses roots animals and termite this is the probable composition it depends on the collected sample suppose you collect one sample from root side but it does not may contain any grass roots or etc but it is an probable composition any other observation here you can find out some stone or gravel plastics gravel plastics etc next is that soil from area where construction is going on construction here plants no plants in this respect we cannot see but sometimes you may find out the the roots okay because the upper surface is basically clean but the roots which is under the first layer it may be there so here there is no plants but here may some roots or dry roots dry roots animals ants termite earthworm may also be there any other observation here concrete the broken piece of concrete gravel may be there in the constructed area completed up to this next 4 and 5 4 and 5 there is the options for you from where you will collect the soil sample Complete it first. Garden soil, plants, grass, roots, animal, earthworm, termite. Any other observation? None. Soil from roadside, grass, grass roots, and termite, gravel, and plastic. Construction in construction in any other observation, you may add plastics also. everyone completed now can you give the option 
can you give the option of other soil sources no i think it is not possible to dictate the chat because it takes too much time detect the chat yes we can detect the chat that was sent the message or etc okay can you tell me the source of any other uh, soil soil in the tree how soil from the forest you can add soil from the forest here garden soil is given soil of the forest it may uh, having the same composition soil from the uh, Yes, I am dictating the table nine point one. Okay, completed. Next is that problem four. That four. So the soil source we can add here. Soil source. We will add here. what are the soil sources one uh, that may be uh, from the river side or river bed so that is river bed plants what kind of plants is there different kinds of grass is there and roots of them animals what kind of animals we can see on the river side <coughs> lichen lichen you can see mealy pods mealy pods you can see any other observation no and you can add here the plastics okay this is river bed another one source yes forest soil you can add but the forest soil and garden soil they are having no such uh, difference agricultural field agricultural field what are the plants may be there that is the roots and some algae may be there roots and algae what kinds of animal may be there 
earth one millipods millipeds centipedes okay any other agricultural in agricultural field manure dry cow dung this you can see on the agricultural field complete it river bed soil source plants is grass roots animals that is lichen millipedes any other observation that is plastics agricultural field roots algae plants uh, animals is earthworm millipedes centipedes and then any other observation that is manure dry cow dung etc next come to page number 97 i wonder why i found some pieces of plastic article and polythene bag in the soil sample collected from the roadside and garden okay now come to the next uh, in the box polythene bag and plastics pollute the soil they also kill the organisms living in the soil that is why there is a demand to ban the polythene bags and plastics other substances which pollute the soil are a number of waste products chemicals and pesticides waste products and chemicals should be treated before they are released into the soil the use of pesticides should be minimized i want to know whether the soil from a field can be used to make toys yes this can be used to make toys okay now in the uh, in the middle portion that is polythene bags this portion here one brief introduction of uh, the soil pollution is given now what is the pollution or what is soil pollution that is due to the applications of different fertilizers chemicals in the form of pesticides fungicides etc the quality of the soil and the organisms of the soil are uh, being hampered they are they cannot still born on this situation or in that uh, acidity range so it becomes a problem another one big problem is that plastics because it restricts the passage of water and also the oxygen on the air, on the soil this decreases the fertility of the soil and at the same time it kills the microorganism so these are the bad effects of plastics and also using of fertilizer chemicals in the form of pesticides etc so in that portion here what is the bad effects of polythene bag that it kills the microorganism it restricts the rotation or uh, restricts the flow of water and air in the soil next one what is the bad effects of uh, pesticides because it increases the nutrients in the soil and for this a different kinds of animal can grow within it and which is not favored for the quality of the soil so this is the bad effects here okay so this is up to this today on the next class we will start from soil profile okay